Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming, everybody. As once more, today we're going to pick up the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 16, the show. And guys, you see here, June is almost over, one day left. We're going to get through the All-Star game, we'll see who our All-Stars are, and then, you know what, we will get into a loss, win, win, loss, and the White Sox won't offer us trade. So they're looking for Marcus Stroman, for Carlos Gonzalez, and Deoner Navarro. Now, Navarro is rated in 82 at 34 years old, and Carlos Gonzalez, well, he's 32 and 90 overall, whereas Marcus Stroman is 26, B potential 87. It's a very good trade for us, but they are salary dumping heavily at our point of things, so we are just going to ignore this altogether, really. It's not on my agenda to trade away our ace at this point of the season when we're 57 and 28. So let's get through the Boston series with a loss win. And today is the features game. No, thank you. Play the home run derby. Yes, as we are going to go play the home run derby at Oakland. And it looks like Edwin Encarnacion leading the league in home runs at 30 is there. And Troy Tulowitzki is there as well. So two guys make the... Home run derby for the Blue Jays this year. That's huge. That means our power numbers are up. And let's simulate through the day. Today is the All-Star game. Let's find out who the All-Stars are for our team. Doesn't look like we have a starting pitcher. Oh, yes, we do. It's Colin McHugh. Pardon me. I always forget. McHugh kind of last year was that forgettable guy. Still getting used to him being so dominant for us this year. And you see here, no other closers. Oh, but our closer in Roberto Osuna. All right, that's perfect. And our lineup is Edwin Encarnacion, and that is really it. You see Joey Bats, 79 year overall, 37 years old. And the guy is just digressing terribly, and he's still an all-star. So we'll give him that. We'll give him some props there. And Troy Tulitsky on the bench. Kevin Plower on the bench as well. And that means we had, what, four, five All-Stars this year. That is huge representation for the Blue Jays. And let's get into that uh, Detroit series. How about that? Uh, the AL has won the All-Star game. That's perfect. And we will win as the Orioles want to offer us a trade this time. Jonathan Scope and... Zach Britton. So really, Marcus Stroman getting a lot of attention on the trade market. You see Jonathan Scope, a very, very solid second baseman who we could pick up in exchange for a closing pitcher and then possibly flip Zach Britton. But if it takes Zach Britton and Jonathan Scope to get Marcus Stroman, I'm kind of concerned what it would take to get another starter of Stroman's quality. So that's a win against Baltimore. They wanted to offer us a trade because they were so mad that Stroman lost to him, apparently. I guess that's disappointing. But we've got the series against L.A. And then we have the series against Detroit. And it's going to be Hinjin Ryu to the mound. So let's, uh, you know what, let's not play a game. Game's getting repetitive at this point. Let's just go on a sim part of this episode. You see Tyson Ross finally bringing down his ERA. Colin McHugh really shining through. 12-1, 309. Hinjin Ryu, 312. And Marco Estrada getting the wins. But he's 447. Brandon Linden, four innings pitched, 225 earned run average. Danny Farquhar really getting it done, 233. Aaron Loop, what can be said about this guy? Henry Casto, well, he's struggling, but you know what? That's okay. Drew Storen, 516. Eh, not as bad as, or better, worse than Castro, pardon me. Uh, Brett Cecil, our second lefty in the pen. Props on him, 16 innings pitched, 165 ERA. And man, oh man, Roberto Osuna on pace. To beat his 48 saves last year. That is huge. The lineup. Well, Tulo's getting it, John. So is Kevin Pillar. Josh Donaldson starting to crush it. 249, just about 250. Oh, man. Really no RBIs here. This is kind of the disappointing thing. Corey Dickerson, 54 RBIs. Yasmani Grandal, 17 home runs, 29 RBI. Ryan Zimmerman, 19 home runs, 50 RBIs. Dominic Brown, 13 home runs, 31 RBIs, and one home run, 6 RBI, 250 average for Darwin Barney. Trevor Mays on the bench, 2 home runs. Dominic Jeffries, 4 home runs, 14 RBIs, 7 RBIs for Joel Reinecker at 293. And Daniel Skimmer, he's, he's struggling, but he'll come around eventually, I think. At least I think so. One home run, 5 RBI. 
Let's get into how about the trade deadline, and that will wrap up this episode. We're already running five minutes as we almost swept Detroit there, and then we sweep Chicago. That's huge. Kevin Pilar for Jan Gomes and Anthony Ghost. Well, Anthony Ghost is an absolute travesty. 77 overall, traded away from the Blue Jays because he sucked. And Jan Gomes, well, Jan Gomes, 30 years old. He wants to be a star, wants a $14 million contract. He thinks he's 85 overall, down to an 82. Yeah, and these are two former Blue Jays that we just can't afford to have on the team at this point. Especially trading away Kevin Blar, our everyday center fielder. So we are on a four game win streak. Let's try and make that a couple more. Alright, I'll take a total sweep against the team there. And Kevin Blar for Matt Carpenter and Charlie Gallagos. So Matt Carpenter, where are you? You are 82 overall. Eh, B potential, 86. He's platoon right now. Should be a star. Not going to upgrade at third base. Could switch him to second, technically, but that means trading away good old Kevin Pilar out there in center. And, I mean, Charlie Gallagos is not that special in center field. He's down from a 78. Wants a bigger contract. Not going to get better. And he's had, what, 12 home runs, 35 RBIs, and 266. His speed's below average. His contact's whatever. He's really not that special. Kevin Pilar, a lot better overall. So that is that, and let's trade. Today is the trade deadline, and that is it. So who is there to put trade waivers in, pending? And let's see here, Rosmo Ramirez, waiver wire. Sonny Gray, if we could complete a deal for Sonny Gray, that'd be awesome. We'll claim the player right there. Scooter Gannett, yes, we'll claim him. Shelby Miller, we do not need a trade in for. Left fielder, mm, you know what? No. And Deonor Navarro's on trade wire. Nobody else on trade wire that I would be interested in picking up. So that is what we're going to leave it as. We have eh, done a little bit. And unsigned draft picks. You know, we assigned everyone except for Edgar Espinoza. So we are set for a fun postseason race. We are 15 and a half games back of the Boston Red Sox. Guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the uh, next one. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.